everyone, today it's casual. I have a little like light sweatshirt on. It's beautiful outside. It's like 70 degrees out. We've been on a couple of walks, me and Alice. And I have minimal makeup on and my hair is up and it's just casual because I'm in lockdown and I don't really feel like getting all dolled up just for a couple videos. Even though, you know, that's kind of like half my job. But I, um, I've been quite busy and I haven't really had time to film, if that makes sense. I haven't really been motivated to film because there's not really much to do. I can't really go out and shop. I can't really do anything. Um, I've been reading a little bit, but at the same time, I have been swamped with work. So I haven't been reading as much as I would like to or as quickly as I would like to. So I thought I would kind of just sit down and just talk to you guys about what's my life like right now. Um, some things that have been keeping me busy, some things that I've just been doing, and let's go ahead and get started. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I made a new intro and let me know how you like it because I spent like an hour making that and it's super simple but it I wanted it to kind of be perfect and it it's it's kind of tricky so one of the things I've been doing during this lockdown is binge watching TV and I haven't been binge watching TV as of like this week and last week but when quarantine kind of began I was on my couch nine to five <laughs> and I didn't have my second job I just was kind of chilling and so I just relaxed and I binge watched The Office. I'm still like in it. I think I'm only on season five, but since I kind of watched five seasons in a row, I'm kind of like bored of it. It's still an amazing TV show and I think it's hilarious, but I haven't been wanting to watch it quite much, quite as much as I was. So that's something that I've been binge watching. And it's actually the very first time that I've watched it so I've really liked it the next thing is I watched Chernobyl on HBO and I did not want to watch this when it first came out I don't like Chernobyl is basically based off of real life it's based off of something that happened and it was awful and I just didn't want to watch that because I thought I'd be scared and then I was Board and I was like, I want to watch Chernobyl. Like, I was so fascinated by it to the point where I actually like Googled because, like, there's a lot of like big words and a lot of science. And until the very last episode, I didn't quite understand what happened. They kind of keep everything from you if you don't already know what happened. Like, I knew like there was explosion and everything, but I didn't know like the fine print details. And I um I just I didn't really understand it. I didn't understand why it went so bad. So I um I ended up watching a college YouTube video on nuclear science <laughs> and they broke it down. It was like an hour long college course and they broke it down and they said like E and da 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 and like they, they made it very complicated too but I was like now I know so much more about physics and nuclear nuclear science than I ever wanted to know so that's kind of something fun but I, I definitely really really loved the show and I've kind of become fascinated with Chernobyl and it was just such a tragedy when it happened but just really really fascinating so um, other things that I have been doing is word searches. So I have this huge thing that I got off of Barnes and Noble and I got a gift card for my birthday and I thought that I would get this because usually I wouldn't have but since I am in quarantine I have been doing a lot of these. They're not difficult, they're really easy but I've just been you know entertaining myself with them. It's huge and it's like a textbook kind of thing. It's kind of fun. So that's something I've been doing in my spare time. 
another thing that I've been doing and I need to do after this video is drafting book two of the Red Siren duology. I am an author of the young adult series named Red Siren. It is a fantasy and I have a video all about that book and I can link it right above here. But as of right now, I'm just drafting. I'm on part two, which is great. I'm making really good progress in it. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to meet my deadline. If I didn't have work, like my other job, which I just finished a really big project with them today. So I'll have a lot of time this week to work on my book. I, I think I'm gonna meet my deadline. It's just been kinda hard to get motivated. I don't know if it's just me, but it got to the point where I was doing the same thing every day. And it got hard. It got boring. And I just realized, I was like, I don't want to do another crossword puzzle. It got kind of depressing. Um, I don't know if any of you have uh, kind of had similar things. But it got really, really depressing for a moment, so... But anyway, I'm doing like new stuff now. Uh, my sleep schedule is messed up and I'm having really, really hard trouble with it. Some days I'm great. I wake up at 8 a.m. and I get started on the day. Other days I wake up at noon and I can't go to sleep till 3. <laughs> so that's something that's been kind of crazy. And... Something else I've been doing is a lot of Animal Crossing. I don't know, I'm sure, I'm sure all of you guys have uh, downloaded this game and I'm playing it too. I just got the Nook upgrade, which is pathetically sad that I did not. I just haven't really been interested in what they've been selling. I just haven't been. So I can never find the Tarantula Island or anything like that. So. Um, my progress is a little bit slower. I'm still at three stars. I just got KK Slider, but slowly but surely, I think it's just coming, coming to me. And I'm so excited about the new update coming for Earth Day. But let me know what your progress is like. I wanted to stream Animal Crossing. I really did, and I actually got the the Switch so I could do some streams for all of you, but. I plugged it into my MacBook, and I don't know if I need to do something else. Like, if you have a MacBook and you stream through it, please let me know how you do it. But I plugged it in the way they showed on a YouTube video, and it said the file was too big or something, and it couldn't take my Switch. So I don't know if I need, like, a capture card or what, but unfortunately I can't record it unless this thing has screen recording, which you can only do about 30 seconds of, which stinks. So that's been something that I have been so, so intensely, like hours. Like I got up one day and I was like, oh, it's nighttime. And I have done nothing except play Animal Crossing. So that was awesome. But yeah, that kind of, that kind of, is it. I haven't really been doing anything else. I can't really do anything else. I haven't seen like my friends or some of my family in a few weeks. So um, I'm right there with you guys. It's, it's really hard to be away from your family, especially when I saw them every single Sunday. And now I can, I can't even invite them over for dinner. So yeah, it's, it's hard. Uh, but this is kind of what I've been doing and let me know in the comments what you've been doing during this quarantine and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!